We are making a game called Thronefall, and in this video, we're gonna see how we release the game. Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Thronefall. Today is the day where we defeat this Kraken. Und zwar nennt sich dieses Spiel Thronefall. <sighs> Come on, let's see what we can do. Oh my! Guys, I need some of you up here. Quick, 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 they're getting in, they're getting in. I really enjoyed the demo for this, and now it is out in, I believe, early access on Steam. So, I really didn't have to wait too long. Really nice. But anyway, so if you've never seen this before, it is effectively Isometric Kingdom. A year ago, we started by prototyping out some ideas. We finally landed on a tower defense-like game. The only difference that you defend a castle and you can ride around on your horse. We means Paul and I, we're a two-man team, and we've been at this for 150 days. That means we're currently on day 100. 151. I'm working on performance. We have not released the demo yet. We have not released the game yet. Except for our playtesters, nobody has played the game yet. And Paul and I are nervous as hell. One of the last big things we had to take care of before launching the demo of the game was localization. So I prepared a Google spreadsheet for that. For Thronefall we're going with a hybrid approach between AI translations and then having the translations redone or double checked by real translators later on. That way hopefully we can iterate quickly while also making sure that real humans are still being paid. So I just made another little test demo build. Yesterday I wrote this to-do list for today and today I did the playtest and now I also have this entire to-do list as well. Isn't that w- Now I'm making step sounds. Yo, 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 we're about to publish Thronefall demo. And nobody's here. I worked my way through this to-do list, all of the things I have to prepare and publish uh, for this marketing beat. And there are a couple of more things that Paul is taking care of. And there's also, uh, also a couple more things that the team from Future Friends is taking care of. But nobody's here. It's kind of kind of weird. I'm all alone. I'm just gonna, you know... All right, we successfully released the Thronefall demo on Steam. That resulted in the server already being flooded with feedback bugs and crashes. So I hope overall it's working. I'm trying to read through the feedback forum here on Discord, but honestly, feedback is coming in faster than I can read. And I've spent pretty much the entire day on reading feedback already. So we did our very best to kind of sort through the feedback a bit and kind of archive it on our Miro board. And we started sorting it by priority so that we can take care of the most important things first. This is more or less how we got ourselves organized. My goal for today is to just fix as many bugs today as possible. We made like these little Paul markers for the stuff Paul supposed to take care of and green stuff for the stuff I'm gonna take, take care of. Steam Next Fest still ongoing and popular upcoming. We're actually on the second page of popular and upcoming. Woo. So now all of the buildings spawn in with animations when you unlock One them. One thing we wanted to do before the early access release of the game was making a little bit of a nicer overworld because that's just as our level select screen. So far it's been all green, all the same color, but we kind of wanted to see the different biomes on the map. So here you can see my first experiments for that and then I gave it over to Paul who refined it even more later on. And we only have one, two, three, four. Wait, what? Oh my god, we only have five weeks left for it to release. Oh no. The good news, the demo launch went really, really well. Like we were among the top 10 most played demos in the entire Steam Next Fest kind of well. It was really fantastic seeing all of these people play Thronefall. We gathered a lot of useful feedback and insight. And what's really cool is that under almost all of these videos, there's always people saying, oh my god, this game looks amazing. I can see how strategy can play a big part. Love this game, looking, looking forward to the full version. So the perception is just... Mm. So far this is lining up to be a really successful launch. Now the only thing we have to do is not mess it if up. If somebody had told me that I would get a chance like this 10 years ago, I probably would have cried tears of joy. Seeing the first reactions and seeing the wishlist numbers shoot through the sky was motivating beyond belief. This might be a once in a lifetime opportunity to create something truly great. We really can't screw this up. 
So what was motivating at first quickly turned into a panic again. I made some juicy new sounds. Cute little bloop 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 sounds when collecting units. Crafted some upgrades for the mill and I think this will add another nice little touch. Let's build our first upgraded mill. Oh. The final stages of game development are always filled with bug fixing and usually very boring stuff, boring polishing things, tiny little things that have to be done everywhere basically. But that all add up to a massive pile of work. So instead of covering all of that in detail here, let's take a little bit of a show don't tell approach and I'm just gonna show you how that experience was like. Weißt du, welche Entity dafür verantwortlich ist, diese Particles zu spawnen, wenn Gegner spawnen? Das dürfte einfach der Enemy Spawner sein, oder? Der Enemy Spawn? Okay, it's about to get real. We're publishing Thronefall in two days. Uh, we're feeling very... N we're feeling... All right. <laughs> all right, things are getting... All right, things are starting to get real. We're all right, things are... It feels weird. We have more wish lists than I've ever had on any game. In fact, more wish lists than I've ever had on all of my previous games combined. At the same time, it's been a very slow build up, so... I'm both very excited and very not excited at the same time. I, I don't know. It feels it feels strange this time. Something feels... Oops, I accidentally spent my entire day on making music. And then I spent the remaining day on designing and balancing quests. We certainly left that for last second. Some people might think that releasing a game feels somewhat like this. Hello, you fellow Today is the day where we feel to nice. nice. so we can do it. Oh, oh my! You maybe you imagine it a little more epic than this, but this is really how it looks like. This is just normal day. I don't know. I'm sitting in my room alone. Yep. Das heißt doch ein bewährtes System. Now I actually quickly put together another little video for my main channel. It's exporting now and in three hours the game comes out. <laughs> We're slowly working our way through this to-do list here. Um, upload a trailer to the Grizzly Games YouTube. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, four minutes. I'm clicking the release button. Now I'll make this. More stuff to do. Friendly headline now, a rock paper shotgun. Oh, haben sie was geschrieben? Our defense city building has reached its peak. Oh, oh this is ja net. So that is taken care of. That is taken care of. Lol, lol, lol. With all of that excitement, I sort of forgot to update the trailer on Steam. Hee <laughs> hee, doing that now. Steam front page! Steam front page! Oh my god, first in the rotation as well. And now we're in top sellers. My cookies are empty. Uh, yeah, very exciting and anticlimactic at the same time. I'm not sure how else to describe it. It's kinda. <laughs> That same evening Soda Poppin, one of the biggest Twitch streamers, streamed our game Thronefall. He tried to beat the first level with three mutators and for some reason he convinced himself that you could only do it without any mills, which obviously did not work at all. That was fun to watch. And also one of my personal favorite gaming journalists from Germany played the game, Maurice Weber. So obviously seeing people that you really like and love to watch content of play your game, that, that is a special feeling for sure. I'm sure you want to know how the launch went. It went very well. 
almost to the point where you start asking yourself how you even deserve that. Like, why me? Why did the universe choose me? And then at the same time, it didn't even feel all that special. So, very weird. Oh my god, that is a beautiful duck I spotted that day. Let's just remember it as the day where I spotted the duck. Why are you so freaking cute, hmm? Do, do you like video games? Do you, do you wanna... No? When I came home from, quote unquote, the office, which is my dad's house, I found this on my desk. And I'm the kind of person who cries when they're happy, not when they're sad, so... Yeah, this helped me realize how... <laughs> proud I actually was. And this is not supposed to be one of those YouTube videos where you feel bad afterwards because you realize that your life is not as amazing or as exciting. I hope you realize that life is weird and it's very weird for me as well. Things happen, stuff changes, game dev is not everything by any means. Remember that things take time. This took us 176 days and also many years before that quite frankly. But one thing's for certain, Paul and I are incredibly grateful for this opportunity that we've been given and we're planning to make the very best of it. This was our early access launch so keep in mind this is really just the beginning for Thronefall. The devlog series continues and in fact if you want to keep watching then why don't you click right here.